OK, let's take a walk around this. Uh, I think it's, it's certainly P registration. I think it's a 1997 on this one. Um, Land Rover Defender 110 300TDI, factory county station wagon. Finished in Epsom Green with um, grey interior. And this one's to 11 seater spec. Um, spec wise, obviously standard county station wagon. So it's got sunroof and alpine lights and sliding windows and what have you. Uh, it's also got uh, boost alloys with a matching set of uh, General Grabber TR size wise. 235-85R16s, uh, matching set of four. It's got side steps, snorkel, uh, auxiliary light bar on the top with um, four auxiliary lights on, which I think work. Uh, it's got um, looks like projector headlights and uh, white lenses on the front. No underbody protection. Um, <coughs> mud flaps front and rear. Adjustable tow pack. It's obviously had a roof rack on it at some point because the, the rear ladder is still on there. Been cut away to show the number plate. Um, tailgate mounted spare wheel. And inside we've got centre cubby box. Um, we've got a nice radio JVC radio CD. Auxiliary plug on it. Doesn't seem to have. Uh, it's also fitted with a reversing camera just up there. So you can see when you're going back. Um, right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Uh, paintwork looks to be generally original, apart from perhaps around the tailgate area. Um, so we've got one or two marks on it here and there and stuff, as you'd expect, but it's it's honest. Uh, a few bits of electricity reaction and um, paint loss just down underneath the headlights and up here. There's a mark in the lacquer here on the bonnet, and another one there where the lacquer's come away. A few stone chips on the bonnet. The bonnet is actually a little bit orange peely, so probably that's been repainted, it's repainted at some point. Looking down the near side, actually looks remarkably straight. Um, near side front wing, we've just got a couple of tiny sort of parking dinks just there and there in the barrel side. Tiny bit of touching in just there. Wheel arch is all good. Scuffer corners on both sides, actually look pretty good. A bit of reaction coming up on the vent flaps, but this is all nice all round here. A post all nice. Um, near side door, dent in the barrel side just there. A bit of reaction along the bottom edge of the door. Inside here, interior wise, seats are in good shape apart from the driver's backrest is slightly sort of misformed there. It feels like the, um, the padding has split inside it. Um, I guess with this mileage it's hardly surprising really, but uh, uh, otherwise, in good shape. I think we've actually got a replacement seat if you really want it um, for the driver's seat. I think in the same trim. Um, headlining is all nice. All the carpets in the front are all still in place, which is unusual. And everything's there. All the proper station wagon bits are all there. Um, this side door bottom, a bit rusty but a long way from needing repair or replacement. Tiny bit of movement in the hinge pin itself actually rather than the door when you do that. So you flex the door. Move to a slightly worn hinge pin on the bottom there, but no more than that. Uh, in the near side rear door there's quite a few sort of depressions in the barrel side. One there, one there, one there and one there. A bit of reaction on the bottom edge and a bit of reaction down there as well. Um, Inside here on the near side there's a tiny hole just uh, just there in the um, in the bottom of the D-post uh, and a little hole in the sill just uh, just there in the side frame piece. And that's about it. Um, rusting up here as always and bottom of the frame again is a bit corroded but as I say not in uh, imminent need of repair or replacement. Still shuts nicely and everything. Near side rear wing, a um, couple of bits of paint loss and reaction around here. Otherwise looks okay. Rear cross members had quite extensive welding on its bottom edge by the look of it, but it all feels strong. Um, and around the tow bar mounts and everything along the bottom, but uh, it uh, feels like it's been industrially welded, shall we say. Um, around the tail end, so I think it's had a bit of uh, repainting work around here at some point. There's the usual marks, electrolytic reaction marks and stuff around here. In the back, um, slightly grubby carpet, but no more than that. Seat belts for all the seats, tools that should be there. Tailgate, bottom frame is actually 
remarkably good. That is a really good tailgate frame actually at the bottom. Slight um oh, slightly damaged rear door card, but uh, no more than that. Uh looking down the offside, again a couple a couple of um depressions in the barrel sides actually looks really rather straight actually. Uh offside rear wing, bit of reaction and stuff around there and there, but that's it. Oh one thing we didn't notice before, just go around here's a big scratch on the uh, Big scratch on the roof just there, obviously, where they've taken the roof rack off. Uh, slight dink in the roof just there, hasn't broken the paint. Um, offside rear door, usual bit of reaction on the bottom of the door, and what have you, and slightly poor paint on the modesty cover. This side is much better on the D post, it's all good. Um, Offside rear door again is rusted up here in the usual spot and down the bottom of the frame, but um, again it's quite solid on its frame, on its uh, mounting. So it's not so good. Uh, and, uh, the paint and stuff on the front of the modesty cover down there. Offside front wing has got a dent just up here which goes underneath the, um, the checker plate. Something we didn't mention, it's got a checker plate on the wing tops. Um, that all looks quite good there. The scuttle corner is on the, on the offside here is spot on. Very nice. Inside here on the driver's side, as I say, the driver's seat, the backrest is uh, a bit worn and there's a tiny split just there on the backrest. Um, driver's door frame at the bottom is poor just here, but along the bottom edge, not too bad. Again, a bit of movement at the bottom hinge pin, but not in the door itself, so uh, the door is actually quite well supported on its front corners. Um, that's about it, I think. <coughs> um, yes, I think that's it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118-907-1495, or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.